This is Phil Metz with Cane Creek Cycling Components, and today we're going to talk about using and installing air volume spacers, also known as air volume reducers. Volume reducers are an additional tuning tool for air sprung shocks. They can adjust the spring rate of all of the double barrel air shocks. Air pressure should be used to achieve the correct sag value, but if you find the bike bottoms out harshly or too frequently after you set up the correct sag, volume reducers can be used to control how progressive a shock is and for bottom out control. Both high-speed compression and volume reduction can be used for bottom-out control. However, high-speed compression changes the amount of compression dampening all through the travel. On the other hand, volume reducers will only affect the spring curve and will provide a stiffer spring rate towards the end of the stroke, which is separate from compression damping. This will allow you to keep your compression damping settings more open while still controlling bottom-out. To put it simply, Using more air volume spacers will provide a more progressive air spring. A more progressive spring will prevent harsh bottom outs since the spring will be stiffer as the bike gets closer to the end of the stroke. Using less air volume spacers will provide a more linear air spring. A less progressive air spring will make it easier to use the full travel of the bike. Okay, now that you understand what volume reducers do, let's talk about how to install them. The process for installing air volume reducers in all double barrel air shocks is virtually the same. Release the air out of the shock. Remove the C-clip on the inline or the O-ring on the double barrel air or double barrel air CS. Slide the air can down away from the shock. Once the air can has been released, install the air volume reducer. Reinstall the air can, but make sure the valve core does not interfere with other parts of the shock. Reinstall the C-clip or O-ring and pump the shock back up. It should be noted, these air volume reducers can be cut down to size, making them smaller for more incremental adjustments. For specific shock tunes and volume reducer recommendations for your bike, be sure to check out the Cane Creek Dialed app. Thank you for watching this Cane Creek Tech video. My name is Phil Metz, and I'll see you next time.